Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're gonna to be talking about Disney's live action remake of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now the reason we're talking about this film is because many are already claiming that it's going to be the most hated film in history, despite the fact it doesn't release until 2024. Now why are people making these claims? Well, largely for two reasons. Number one, it appears very clear that they're going to change core aspects of this story in the live action remake. And people are also upset due to some interesting choices in terms of the actors they hired for these live action roles. None more controversial than this one right here. The choice to hire Rachel Zegler to play the role of Snow White. Now, over the past couple of months, she has been on a crusade to destroy the PR of this film. Across several interviews, she has made it very clear that she hates the character Snow White and hates the franchise as a whole and will be using her position in this live action remake to change the story the way she sees fit. Yes, and after pissing off every single person across all political spectrums, she released this video recently, now playing the role of victim, claiming she was the victim of cyberbullying. Now, before we get into those interviews and hear what Rachel Zegler has to say, this movie has been in controversy since the minute it was announced. When fans heard about this live action remake, their first reaction was simply, why? Why are you making a live action remake of this classic piece of media that is nearly a hundred years old at this point? What are you bringing to the table that is new? Why is it so important to retell this story? Well, it's very clear that this is being made as a cash grab. I mean, this is something Disney has been doing for years now, making live action remakes of their classic uh, movies and films, and it's all just for money. It's a quick cash grab. But a lot of people are focusing on the controversy surrounding Rachel Zegler. However, they already had a controversy involving their hires for this film, and it has to do with this image right here. This was leaked on the social media a few months ago. So uh, yes, in case you haven't seen this before, let me introduce you to the seven dwarfs of this live action remake. Yeah, as you can see, it appears that only one out of the seven dwarves actually has dwarfism. And that's a pretty, uh, pretty odd thing to do because why would you make Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and not have seven actors who have dwarfism? Like, you make the comparisons here, there's no way this film makes any sense without little people playing the role of the dwarfs. I mean, if, if this is something that you just can't do, if they, they feel like this is not appropriate to typecast people with dwarfism into these roles, then just don't make the film. It makes no sense. And I don't think there's anything wrong with hiring people with dwarfism to play the role of the dwarfs. I mean, it seems like it's the only hiring choice that makes any sense whatsoever. And this is something that many little people have come out to speak out against because they are quite literally taking jobs from people with dwarfism who are the only logical choice for this role. And the thing is, like like any other example we've gone through, this choice of hiring is so progressive by hiring people of different ethnicities and races that it's actually backwards because in the process they are pushing out little people who were the most obvious choice for this role. And it makes no sense. But that is not their most controversial hire for this film. It's definitely Rachel Zegler, okay? She has been cast as Snow White, the main character of this story, and many people believe that she will single-handedly tank this film because of things she has said online. Now, you have to point out the obvious here. People are a bit confused about this, this hire because at the end of the day, she is a Hispanic woman and she's playing the role of Snow White. It's a bit of a paradox because Snow White got her name by having skin as white as snow. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. I've gone on record, I've said something I know a lot of people disagree with, but with the remake of Little Mermaid, the live action, where they hired a black woman to play the role of Ariel, I didn't really have a problem with it. And the reason I didn't have a problem with it is because it doesn't really matter too much what her skin color is. Now, I think that Disney's choice was performative and it was just to appeal to people with some sort of a progressive agenda. I get that, but in terms of the actual choice itself, it, it's not like a paradox or anything. But in this story, it literally doesn't make sense to hire her to play Snow White. 
But that's just the least of the concerns. So over the past couple of months, she has been interviewed several times and has made many different alarming claims about her role in this film and how she views this story. She very clearly hates the character Snow White. In fact, it seems like she doesn't care about the entire story itself in the slightest. And she's had this incredibly smug attitude in these interviews that rubs people the wrong way. And now I finally think it's time that we look at some of these interviews. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937 yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> and very evidently so. Yeah, this like smug and dismissive attitude of hers is something you'll see in all these these interviews, but starting out right out of the gate, she's implying that this story is dated and that there's so many problems with it. When in reality, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with the film. I, I don't understand exactly what she's referring to, but if you want evidence that Snow White is a story that's uh, pretty acceptable, even by modern standards, even TikTok is defending this film, the original version, and even TikTok is attacking this actress. That gives you an idea of kind of how far this woman has gone, but let's keep let's keep listening to what she has to say. Um, there is a big focus on her love story. It's not true, by the way. The the love story aspect of the original story is like ten minutes out of the film. Um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. Ugh. She she might be one of the most annoying people I've ever encountered. Like it, it's actually unbelievable. Like, how can you be this unlikable? It, it's unbelievable. Someone needs to literally jump out in front of her and grab that microphone like, you know, like they're, they're the Secret Service or something. That's what Disney needs to do. They need to keep her away from microphones and anything that could express her opinion publicly. Because she makes herself so unlikable and by consequence, people are taking it out on this film as a whole. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because like we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's gonna have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. I oh, oh, believe me, I know it's Hollywood listening to you. Nobody's nobody's confused there. But did you hear what she was saying? Not only is she basically implying that like a love story is some outdated concept, but she's also saying, oh, my, my co-star Andrew, great guy. And then two seconds later, she's saying that they might just slash all of his screen time for no reason other than he's just a man. Like, what is going on? Who let her say these things publicly? Imagine being that actor. Imagine being, hearing your co-star basically saying that, like, you're not even necessary for the film and they might slash all of your screen time if they feel like it. That's crazy. But there's a lot more interviews and they only get worse. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. <laughs> like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was terrified of it. Never revisited Snow White again. Yeah, so she sounds like the average anime quote unquote fan on Twitter that we talk about pretty much every single day, where she is the lead role in Snow White, a dream role for many actresses who would love to play that iconic role and yet she's only seen the film one time and seems like she just dislikes it entirely. And then she's even mad about things like the ride at Disney World. Like, are you kidding me? It's, it's, a, it's a ride. Like, stop taking it so seriously. But yeah, just more insufferable comments. But uh, we're going to hear some more. So I watched it for the first time in probably 16, 17 years when I was doing this film. I just mean that it's no longer 1937 and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is- She's not gonna be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not gonna be saved by the prince and she's not gonna be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. And so it's just a really incredible story for I think young people everywhere to see themselves in. Snow White is running for president. 
I'm launching my campaign. Yeah, so I think this interview pretty much captures everything wrong with modern feminism. The, f the point of feminism is supposed to be choice, right? If you want to be a yes queen girl boss who's climbing the corporate ladder, that's your choice. You're, you're entitled to do that. But also part of that choice is to not want to pursue those things. To be something less, to not want to be the leader and, and cutthroat, and to be something like a mother, for example. Like, that's the problem, that there's no clear option for people like this. If you're not girl bossing, then you're less of a woman to someone like Rachel Zegler. And it's really crazy to see, and you can see how unlikable this attitude makes you makes you look like. It's pretty clear, but she has responded to the backlash. Like I hinted at earlier, she might be the most hated actress in the industry right now, and we aren't even talking about her performance. Her comments are going around on social media at an insanely viral level. Like I said earlier, even TikTok hates her. I thought for, you know, based on my own experience, I thought TikTok would be defending her, right? She's a woman, she's girl bossing, you know, and they would, they would stick up for her. No, they are collectively shitting on Rachel Zegler. There is no mercy. They are defending the original film. They're calling out the live action remake. And they are mainly calling out Rachel Zegler and her many different comments. Basically saying that she's smug, arrogant, narcissistic, and the list goes on. But in response to that, she has done the only logical thing in her mind. And that's to come out with a recent video playing the role of the victim, of course. The video is going to get taken out of context. And I know that at this point I can't really stop people from doing that because... That's what my whole existence on the internet is, is just me being taken out of context. And So when we watched those clips just a few minutes ago, did you think any of those were taken out of context? Were you wondering, is there more context to this? No. It was so clear what she was saying. That's like the number one deflection when someone gets caught saying something stupid. They say it's out of context. We had the whole context of everything she was saying. Like, what more do you need when she says that she only watched the film one time? What more do you need to hear when she's saying she can slash out her male co-star's screen time if she feels like it? What context do you need to understand when she says that she wants to completely remake this character? Like, there's no more context needed. People were rightfully upset with these comments because they had the full context. Stuff, uh, which is fine. That's what I signed up for, isn't it? Um, but I never wanted to come off as me being ungrateful for the opportunities I have. Well, she did a pretty bad job of that because literally that is the number one thing people are reflecting on. They, they think you're ungrateful for the role. They think that Rachel Zegler, it's almost like she's being forced to play this role. She is clearly not only just not grateful, she seems like she actively despises playing this role, which is so weird. Like I said, there are so many female actresses who would absolutely kill to play this iconic role. After all of these years, it finally gets a live action remake by Disney, and this is the treatment that they're getting from the, the main actress behind the role. It's very strange to see. When I say that this has been the biggest adjustment of my life, like understanding the way my life operates now, being who I am, and the things that I've been so fortunate to make, it comes with so much ground. So much ground that I never thought I would be able to cover and that people think I'm doing poorly and other people think I'm doing gracefully. They're not. They, they think you're doing poorly. That is like 99% of people. Literally, it, it, it's sad when all of her problems could be solved by simply not speaking about the film. If she didn't have those interviews, she would not be in this position. It was as simple as that. And the mistake was allowing her free range to say all these things publicly. And unfortunately for her, people have tied all these pieces together. Because it wasn't just one bad interview. It was many different interviews. And it's very clear where she stands on everything. So she did this to herself and she is not handling it with grace. She's doing the exact opposite. And many people are also looking at this video and saying you're making it worse. And I don't think I'm doing it at all. <laughs> So when I tell you that it's hard, I just mean to be inside my brain. <laughs> That's hard. 
and I'm there 24 seven. I can't, I can't get out of it. And, and I, I don't know if that will make sense, but that's where I'm at. Doesn't make sense. What does make sense is the whole point of this video, and that's to make people feel sorry for you. When you are the one going around saying all of these disparaging things about the film and the uh, character that you're playing. It's very clear that you are now backpedaling and doing an attempted damage control, a very poor attempt by the way, by making this tearful video about how hard it is to be you. Well, no, you have the privilege of doing something amazing. And that's playing this character and you're basically just taking a big shit on it. That's all she's done since the start. And it's very clear that people just aren't having it. And the film is going to suffer and has suffered. This, this film is already plagued by her interviews. It is pretty much dead on arrival at this point. I think that's fair to say. Like people are not even going to give this a chance. People are already actively trying to protest this film by encouraging others to not go to it. And it's... All because of her. It's almost exclusively her. There are some other controversies like, like we covered earlier, but really the, the, the actual anger is being directed towards Rachel Zegler and as a consequence, the entire film itself. But nonetheless, I don't want to listen to any more of this. I think you get the point. Um, that's going to do it for this video. I know it was a lot, so uh, please share all of your thoughts about today's topic in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.